Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. What makes Medina to be blessed is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> means bring Sayyidina Muhammad into our homes. Play the salawats within the house, play the nasheeds within the house, play the qawalis within the house. How these notes are teaching us that a blessed soul is coming, his time is coming, he's coming. Prepare, make the everything to be beautiful. I mean have the milad in your home, invite guests, give food and say, we're going to now turn on this event for live zikr and join us for live zikr. What's well, not hard? How do you think we got to where we got to? They didn't just all of a sudden give us something and say, oh, now okay alhamdulillah you're such and such. There are people who use the himmah and the zeal of whatever Allah has given to them to accomplish their goal. Means when you're sitting at home far away from everything, invite a few friends and say, we're going to have a mafil tonight. You don't have enough for food? You say, even if you made enough for four people, eight can eat from it. Make a nice meal for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad invite people over, say, now mafi starting, put the live television. And make your home always a place of mafil. If you're scared put a mask on <laughs> and tell them sit a little bit farther away. But the barakah of the mafil, the barakah of salawat begin to push every type of difficulty away. The home becomes a masjid, the home becomes Medina, the home becomes a shelter. And who's coming? The honoured soul, the honoured presence Sayyidina Muhammad is coming because it's his Wasallam's birthday. He's the best of character to come to give this, the greetings to all those whom are coming for that love and for that respect. As a result they, they use everything possible to gain the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad and they took their course, they took their studies within the good character. In days of difficulty we warned that when these isolations begin and Allah ordered buyut, everybody into your homes, uh, many devils will be coming out, many ratons, rats. Right? After everybody starts to die and all the difficulty, what was the next azab coming was pestilence. Not only the physical rats you should be scared of but the characteristic that insan begins to have. You can become like a fox where you think you're just so clever and you want to be sneaky. You want to be a rat and put your poo poo from page to page to page. When you see a rat what do you do? You call exterminator. Don't follow it, don't play with the poo poo, just get away from it. Because all these people who made seclusion, they're isolated, their real character is coming out, the badness is coming out, the hidden desire is coming out, the hidden jealousies. All of the hidden desires within people will begin to manifest. Don't think everybody manifests as something good and beautiful. Means Allah want to know in this month what's inside you will come out. Sweetness comes out in the face of every type of difficulty, every type of badness even to the hand that crushes it Imam Ali Salam. These sayings are oceans of reality. Be sweet even to the hand that crushes you like the rose means that in nature Allah said, don't think Ansan you're so great, my nature is far better than you, right? If you hit the tree what do you get Qasim? A fruit tree, if you hit it what happens? You get the apple. The tree doesn't hit you back, it gives you its fruit. And nature teaches us, squeeze me and I give you all of my essential oil. I will fragrance you by you crushing me. Not to, to become something toxic and poisonous. Anyone who take a path of self-realization and see that you're coming out of seclusion as something toxic, 
this poison and sickness that was within you is now going to be the path in which you make your destiny? What is the phrase that Darth Vader used in Star Wars? Who's the light? <laughs> I think it was Yoda. You know, you choose the good and you choose the light and that will make your destiny. But if you go towards negative and darkness that becomes your destiny. A life filled with negativity and darkness and you have a choice in which to make. You overlook the faults of others, the wrongs and the bad doings and you always choose the light and you always choose the positivity and moving towards muhabbat and love. We said last night that you always visualize yourself in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and thinking that in the presence of Prophet he is with us now. These are the uh, Ahl al-Muhabbat. The people of salawat and love in this majlis that Prophet is with them now. Whatever you do, do you think he is approving if it's a bad action and bad character? And that's why the tariqah comes to teach the best of character. That if you should do bad and take a path towards darkness then Allah's azab is moving towards you. Stay clear of anyone whom you feel is under Allah's azab because these are not the time to put a bullseye on your head. These are the times in which to make yourself to be beautific and fragrant. And all of this salawat show it's not my amal, Ya Rabbi I'm not sitting here thinking that because I prayed I gave zakah because my qirat is impressive to you or not impressive to you. I'm sitting here thinking, I did everything wrong but I'm begging for your rahmah and your mercy. Dress me from your rahmah Ya Rabbi, let me just to have good character so that you'll overlook what I did wrong or was not pleasing to you in my worshipness. That's a whole different type of character, negate all your actions, all your abilities and say that I'm only existing by the mercy of your grace Ya Rabbi, let me have good character so you forgive all my wrongdoings. Versus the one whom is going to build themselves on their doings, on their actions, their prayers, their qiraat, their hifs, their memory, everything. They're going to say that that brings them close to Allah How? How will it save you if it didn't save shaitan? He made a sujood and made sajda every single space from a hand's distance for 70,000 years of worshipness, raised in, in knowledges based on pride and bad character such that it contaminated the knowledges of the angels. And one order from Allah and he fell and all those whom followed fell. So turuqs come to teach good manners, only, clear, only classification they're supposed to have. Only thing on their resume is, do they have good manners? Does the shaykh have good manners and did he teach his students good manners? Even people come and say, look they do will do wrong, they pray wrong, they recite wrong, 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 wrong. But they're extremely kind and nice people, that's it. That's an academy of realities. Say, if not 1000 ulama hating you, you're not a wali. If not 1000 ulama coming against you, you're not a wali. Why? Because the ulama couldn't understand the character and the actions of awliya. Never that they're outside of sharia but they never saw it with their eyes of pride of any action, any value in it. Even their look and their, their image to some of the external ulama were, You're, this one looks ajeeb, what do you make such a big deal about this person? With our external eyes we look at them and see nothing. 
But Allah warned, don't look to the surah, don't look to the form for Allah only interested in the heart. Allah doesn't look at the form of His creation, He looks to what's within the heart. And within that heart does He see muhabbat and love, good character, love of Sayyidina Muhammad continuously praying all night long, Ya Rabbi fix my badness, fix my badness, give me a sweetness in my life, a good character within my life. People think they're here to test the shaykh but that needs a high level shaykh. You're not anyone to test the shaykh, it's actually the reverse, the shaykh is testing you. And if you're exhibiting bad characteristics you're going down very fast. And this is not a time in which to go down, this is not a time in which to try to pull a bullseye on your head because just the smallest microbe is now heading in your direction, nothing big. It's just a microbe that you can't see and if Allah not pleased with your character and sees that you're exhibiting characteristics of, of badness, it's as if you're putting a bullseye that, come Ya Rabbi I'm challenging you, punish me. Why? Why would anyone want to do that? And just this microbe begin to come. So we live in a time in which Allah is going to bring out all that which is hidden within us Ya Rabbi. As you begin to shake us, we said, this is a month of shaking, every type of testing and aggravation and all that comes out of you is craziness and belligerence and anger and aggression. But then you got more coming to you than you can imagine. But if through all your shaking and all your crushing is goodness, like Allah's nature, you hit the tree, the fruit comes. You squeeze the flower, the fragrance comes. You burn the bukhur and beautific fragrances are released. We pray that Allah give us a good character, that this month of Zilzala is important because it's opening now the month of Hajj. We're making intention, Ya Rabbi grant us a real hijra. That our bodies don't need to be anywhere near there Ya Rabbi, but when the bake starts Put my soul within your holy Kaaba, bring the soul right into the reality of the holy Kaaba and dress Ya Rabbi from Safa Marwa, grant us the seven springs of reality, grant us Islam, Iman wal Maqam al Ihsan, grant us the reality of that tawaf and the dressing of that tawaf because Ya Rabbi Imam is coming, Sayyidina Mahdi is coming. Do you think that you are ready for that arrival? After 86 years they called the azan and ayat al sufiya Means this is the center of the Islamic Muhammadan nation, not the other guys that claim to be the holy custodians of nothing. They are not custodians of anything. The clapping and dispensing of water does not make them custodians. The custodians was the Ottoman Empire. That that was given from the Arabs was taken away by Sayyidina Muhammad and given to the Turkish nation, given to the Ottoman Empire. And Mawlana Shaykh described that when they, they returned to their Jummah in that masjid, was a sign of the arrivals of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. Many things will be opening with that takbir. Allah. So when they called azan today, many things will be opening upon this earth. Are you good with Allah Are you good with Sayyidina Muhammad Are you good with all awliyaullah? That the term for awliyaullah is a rose garden and when you talk to other students and other shaykhs and they used to give an example that from what garden do you come? They posted on, on the internet. When one shaykh would ask students of another shaykh, they say, from what garden do you come? What rose garden do you come? 
Not that, oh, I'm a shaykh, your shaykh is not a shaykh. All of the worst characteristics now where everyone is an unbeliever except that one shaykh. But how the manners and the adab was before that they believed all oh, these majlis of zikrs were rose gardens. And their students, roses from that garden and they would ask, from what garden you came? Means what a ihtiram and a respect for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's our way that these shaykhs are all roses in the garden of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us best of character, best of love. Ya Rabbi only our character can save us from your anger. If you grant us and write for us good characteristic in the face of every type of difficulty, we will truly be successful. And grant us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Ameen. It was very beautiful. Every time you watch Ayat Sufiya and the azan going off, uh, inshaAllah your heart cries. That that is a, was a big lock on that. For that president to have worked with his generals and armies that were very secular, for all their judges and all their courts were very secular, all those chains were broken and the country unanimously voted for that to return back to being a masjid. And Allah has returned an amanat and a trust back to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not something small. We'll see what events begin to unfold as a result of that action inshaAllah. Allah's give us a life to see it and good character Ameen. to at least partake in it. Ameen. Bad character distances us from everything and we see nothing of anything. Click the link now to subscribe. <laughs>